That shot went in and out. That's what you call ice in your veins. <laughs> and welcome to Out of Breath. Today I'm super stoked because we have a crazy guest for you. We have the legendary street ball player, bone collector, and he's gonna show us some skills. Let's see how I do. Bone, what's up? Hey! Good to see Good you. Good to see you, how you been? Good, seems like you're already getting some work in. Already started. So we all know you from your viral clips, breaking people's ankles, celebrity games, but we also know that you train some professional athletes. Mm -hmm. So I'm not a professional athlete or anything, but my handles need some work. So can you help me out today? Of course, I got you. One cool. thing I will warn you, these drills are a little hard because I do train pro athletes. They're intense, so yeah. if you can keep up, we'll see what happens. Hope gonna, she's ready. I'm gonna do my best. Let's get into it. <laughs> the first drill we're gonna get into is a light warm-up drill. You're gonna start off in the corner. You're gonna shoot from five different spots. Once you get to the end, you're gonna make that shot twice. The loser is gonna be in trouble because he's gonna to have to do 15 push-ups or she's gonna to have to do 15 push-ups. No, I can't lose in shooting. It's the one thing I'm good at. <laughs> good luck. Here I come, Rachel. Here I come. Oh! No! Yes! That's all right. Yes! No way! Don't show! Hi, Rachel! Oh! Don't choke! Bye, Rachel! Oh! That's game! That shot went in and out. That's what you call ice in your that first one. So you have for your 15 push-ups. 15. One, two, three, four. Moving on, now we're gonna get into some of my signature ball handling drills. A lot of this stuff is stationary, but it's gonna give her a different hand-eye coordination. I like to call it the secret stuff that I use in my games. Check it out. We're gonna start off with your between the legs dribble. Okay. Every three dribbles, you're gonna go behind your back, and then when you come back in front of you, you're gonna do three quick dribbles. We will be doing this five times. One, two, three, one, one two, two, three, one, one two, two, three. three. Good, one, two, three, one, two, three. Come on back, come on back, come on back. I'm waiting on you. Good, going back. Go. One, two, three. Good job, Rachel. You got your head up? When I played ball, my weakest skill was dribbling. How important is continuing to do the fundamentals, even at your level? Well, the fundamentals are the backbone of your entire ball handling. If these things are done the right way, they can become weapons for you. The fundamentals are necessary so you can develop those weapons. So let me give you the sauce. Okay. When you do these drills, what are you thinking about each move? Not bouncing the ball off my foot. Okay. <laughs> That's a good thing to think about. Yeah. So have you ever thought about there's someone on defense in front of you all three times. Okay. That is one of the first tricks to keeping yourself in a good rhythm. Right. Because if you're gonna mechanically do the same thing, a defender will probably be able to guard that. I'm changing my breathing, my ball handling speed for each three drills we're doing. Right. If you incorporate that, it'll help you when you do get on the court, your reactions will change. Right. How did you learn that? My father, made me go on a court just like this and put out pennies all over the court until it was covered. I would have to get out there and make these dribble moves, but I'd have to listen to the sound of the change. I kind of learned how to map out the court, what moves work where, and then sound, sight, those things have a lot of energy in them. And I believe basketball has always been a spiritual thing for everyone. You're gonna love this next drill because this is something that I like to call, you know, extreme separation. Okay. And I have a little intricate way I go about doing it. I showed James Harden actually last year some of the little different ways you can do this drill. And uh, I'm gonna show you now, cool. and we're gonna do it in a different fashion. You're gonna <laughs> okay. start off between the legs. Two. Three. Once you come back that last time, you're gonna punch dribble. 
Yeah. Drop it between your legs, double step back. We Sorry, will be that. doing that okay. five times. Five times. One, two, three, one more. Punch dribble. Under. Step Why? back. This is where it messes me up. I'm punching here and I'm, oh wait. There it is. <laughs> you just did it. That was my first one. I almost hurt my ACL doing that one. <laughs> Okay. Don't hurt yourself. Behind. Two. Push again. She's timeout. She's That's shooting jump. She's shooting jump shots in a ball handling drill. That's five push-ups. And you shot that with no hoop, so you have serious <laughs> issues. Punch dribble. Under the leg. Step back. Good. No. Four. Good job, right, Joe? I'm getting there. Three. Punch dribble. Behind the leg. Step back. No. Four. <laughs> Good, punch, under. Good, good. That was a good one. <laughs> I like that one. Yeah, that, that was good. a good one. Sweet. Perfect. Okay, and on a good one, next up. For this next drill, we're okay. gonna work on your ability to get around your defender. Now, these are gonna be street ball moves. So don't get too caught, bent out of shape if you don't do them right. Okay. Even if it feels uncomfortable, try it. It's just a way of opening up your handle, okay? Okay. You're gonna push to the elbow, stop, under the leg, crossover, dribble, push out, finish on the right side. Okay. I got this, I got it. Hey! Ah. Hey! <laughs> that was nice. All right, so in this drill, we're gonna do some of the same similar things that we've done in the first two drills. Okay. But the difference here is we're gonna work on extreme separation and open up our handle with another street ball trick. All right, so we gotta make three. One move at a time. Yes. Well, that was- Yes. <laughs> Don't put that in. Keep that, keep it rolling. Oh my, wait, no, no, no. I gotta wrap all the way around. Oh. We're having some technical difficulties. I almost hunted it. We'll I be right back it. after these scheduled messages from the local ankle break nation. Yeah. This is hard. It's really hard. Good. Good. Oh, yes. Knock it Good. down. That's three. That was hard. That's a hard drill, huh? It's really hard. For this last drill, I like to incorporate a lot of weight training. This is gonna be something that's gonna be really strenuous, and we're gonna to have to do this for a minute at a time. You're gonna take this ball, and you're gonna push it up against this 100 times, or until we get to one minute. While you're doing this, I will be working on my spider dribble around this cone, learning how to find my areas. Ah, push. Work, Rachel. Work, Rachel. 100. Uh, all right. Okay. Let's go, Rachel. You got to go quicker than that. Nope, I'm making you suffer. We're on the same team here. 50. My arms are burning. Stop. Was that hard? Yeah. So we see where you're at in your career now, but where did this all start for you? Basketball started for me from my father. He took me to play basketball when I was five. He showed me how to throw the ball between someone's legs and get it back. How old were you? Uh, I was about seven. Really? Yeah. When you learned that move? When I learned it, That's yeah. That's crazy. Your, your game develops according to who you idolize, and my father was taking me with him so many different days out of the week, my game just continued to grow and change from there. So having him kind of keep my head focused on those things made my game grow fast. Are there any pro players that you looked up to when you were a kid? But I had weird interests. I liked uh, guards like Nick Van Exel and Damon Stoudemire and yeah. Mahmoud abdul Raouf, uh, Chris Jackson. Uh, I liked those kind of guards because they were really shifty with the ball. Obviously. After the era switched, Iverson was my favorite guard. Was he man. was my favorite. Yeah, he was my favorite. <laughs> he was awesome.
you're not in the NBA, but you have such a big influence on basketball, not just in the United States, but around the world. My father always taught me that you were born somebody, you don't have to grow up and be somebody. It's all about the work you put in. Stay focused on what you love. The world is gonna distract you. There's a lot of things that distract you. And, and do the things that you love. And you know, and if you do some of the things that you love, make, make sure they're positive things. They will always reward you in the long run. So a lot of our fans obviously know you from your viral videos. Do you have any certain moment that might have been the most memorable for you? I played in a charity game with Floyd Mayweather. Oh, I know this one. <laughs> and Gronkowski, we had a charity game, and Floyd Mayweather's fall was probably the most historic for me because of yeah. who he is. He gave was, you props for that too, he couldn't he even did. dodge it. He did. <laughs> Big shout out to Floyd, love you bro. <laughs> Well, thank you so much for joining us on Out of Breath. And I have some gifts for you. Oh, thank you. We got some overtime gear. Thank you. Let's check it out. Swag. Yeah. Bam. It's a beautiful thing to do these things and show you the stuff that I worked on my whole life. And I hope that you can use it in your game. Oh, there's only one rule. Okay. If you don't respect it, you will get collected. Don't you gotta tell somebody to click something? You're right. <laughs> Look below the video to cop that new gear. Check out these videos right here because they for y'all. And subscribe. Stop playing with us.